year built of 2015 arrived? How was the 6,200 valuation determined despite providing evidence of the actual value? We are asked on the select board to answer the above questions, six questions. We are also asking the board to fix the above errors. Estimations based on the evidence we provide to provide us the requisite payment amount. Note, based on the answer the board provides, more errors may be uncovered, which might affect the payment amount. Thank you for your time. Receive your letter on April 15, 2024. We have brought much time and attention to your property. Your wish to be considered differently is beyond what we believe is our responsibility as the overseers of the assessment and processing graphic. For example, in your letter, you state the following As we have pointed out several times through the select board, the board is legally obligated to consider all evidence that may be submitted to them relative to the value of property. The value of which cannot be determined by personal examination. See RSA 75 colon 1. You go on this stage. After staring at the property card for too much time trying to figure out all the mistakes, lies, and arbitrary changes, we continue to find errors in our potential error. At the last select board meeting, we explained to you with patience that the best way to resolve the mistakes, lies, and arbitrary changes to your property card is to allow the assessors onto your property as that is the best practice for determining value. Although we understand it is your right to demand that the assessing agent avatar not go on your property, we believe it is your right, oh, sorry, we believe it is our right to contract with avatar to make decisions on the value of your property. Any possible mistakes and errors on your property card appear to be the direct result of roadside assessment. Each and every item that you list is problematic, can be easily evaluated by personal examination. Therefore, we will not consider the use of your statement to determine the value, nor do we believe that the value cannot be determined by personal examination, as you refer to in RSA 75 colon 1. We understand that you believe that the assessor's behavior is unacceptable, and therefore, you do not want him on your property. That is the only remedy that is, we would be willing to use to correct the problem that you list within your letter. At our last step of the meeting, we offered to request a different assessing agent from Avatar to alleviate your fear, as well as, as well as to have the select board accompany Avatar when they come out to your property. Regarding the site modifier, as we explained to you at the last step of the meeting, the Since you have been studying the same materials that we have access to, it should be clear to you that why description changes to un undev clear. Once you constructed the new buildings on your property, the site modifier moved back up as it should. At the last select board meeting, you complained that it seemed the avatar was messing with you. We believe it, your car changed as the property was developed as is appropriate. We have attached the table for site modifiers that you request. As you do know in your letter, this new, unusual and lengthy process that you have chosen will produce changes in your property card that will hopefully alleviate your tax burden. As part of this process, though, it has come to our attention that there are additional structures in what are currently listed that can be seen from the road. We ask that you please update your, that information yourself rather than wait for another roadside assessment. Repeatedly, we have met, taken the time to meet with you, and we have finished you with the materials provided that you will be able to decipher your property card. So, I'll motion to send that off to ambitious takers.
Yeah, I'll second. So like, like we talked about last time, the, uh, the, uh, the 47, the 47 rating was really means it's undeveloped clear land. And the reason that changed back to where it was or in the neighborhoods because that land was developed. So it should be 100 or close to it, which it, which it is. I think that that was the, the, you know, the main point and it wasn't because somebody's being targeted or you know, whatever the word was that they used in that letter, uh, I think is ridiculous. Um, I think that assessing a property from 400 feet through the woods I'd like to see anybody do that and be accurate. It's impossible. And the only way that you can actually verify these properties is by a personal visit. And um, that's what the RSA refers to when it says the value of which cannot be determined by personal examination. They mean that something that is out of sight when you're on their property you can't tell. And the way to resolve all the issues is with a personal visit. That's what I feel too. So I'm okay to send that. Most of the information that um, on these tables is was available in our office in the Avatar books, and in the Avatar specific drafting book has an explanation of all the codes, all the neighborhoods, all the land use codes. Everything that's on the property card is in there, as, as well as they go through line by line on the property card to explain what they mean. And that's all public information, and it's available at the office. So, um, Huff Beach, that wasn't open last year, was it? With not the dam going on? There was nothing going on in the beach of the test the water last year? Do you know? Yeah, we... I don't know. They test the water yearly. Yeah. Right. But the odd problem I have with that is that a couple of years ago, we yeah, private citizens were yeah, getting the te yeah. tested. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Right. Yeah, they moved out of town. That the people that were doing it? Is that no. No, no there's somebody else. They were just getting, uh, taking it, uh, taking it to uh, the state, and, the state. and then uh, all of a sudden the bill was showing up. And, oh, I see, yeah. Uh, Somebody was taking it upon themselves to test the water mm -hmm. and yeah. sending us the bill. Okay. Yeah. They should have paid the bill, that would have been... It would have been nice, but it became a... Central behavioral thanking us for the sixteen hundred and ninety seven dollars that we Is that how much we gave them? How that no. <laughs> they just sent it random numbers out. Well that's what they probably requested. They change the request every year. Yeah. Yeah. They, and a lot of them a lot of them come to the town and then they go to the county.
practice with conventional style of dwelling, built circa 1997, situated on 1.8 acres of land with a total assessed value of 116,700. The homeowner filed a basement application, did not find the market value. The owner sees the camper and lead two were moved on. 11.122 and consists of value of the solar panels, stating that they do not offer power to the whole house. We shot the homeowner by telephone on January 4th, 2024, for additional information, in which I discovered the camper had indeed been removed from the lead to mentioned on the basement application. The canvas greenhouse attached to the camper that was not being assessed. The lead two on the property card is a 12 by 4 overhang, which is attached to the set and it's still present. We also discussed the solar panels, which have a fixed rate, depreciated for the last for the year manufactured. It does not matter if they don't supply the whole house with electricity. Panels are currently assessed at the same rate regardless. I suggest the homeowner that he should file for a solar exemption with the town on April 15th, 2024. Have they? Given the camper was moved prior to April 1st, 2023, the homeowner is entitled to an abatement and it will be removed going forward based on the above or make the following changes be made. At one slash four point four J Dar to the listing history, delete card number two, add general note to the card number one stating one point four camper removed. The following change is reduce the total assessed value from one hundred and sixteen thousand seven hundred to one hundred and sixteen thousand six hundred. And the basement to be processed for the hundred dollar value JSJ options. This number should be provided to the policy of the town for home that the state of New Hampshire allows as well as encourages your participation in the state of New Hampshire surplus property option to be held. Saturday, May 18th, 2024, at the Way Farm, 144 Clinton Street, Concord, New Hampshire. So. A motion on this? Yeah. A motion that we accept that uh, Avatar's recommendation. Second. Third. Public comment. Okay. The uh, vehicles and said junkyard, does it end the uh, um, road easement? The vehicles that were mentioned, are they on the road easement? They're in the yard. No, they're in the yard. They're in the private property, it sounds right. like. I don't think they're on the road. Um, Ryan Health, Ambitious Acres. I'm trying to figure out what some of this stuff is. So, it seems like you're, the select board's position is that there's a 400 and 15 page document that is publicly available and we're supposed to parse that and figure it out and come up to our own conclusion is that trying not to put words in your mouth but is that the document we're talking about um, how did you know how many pages it was i found it just now uh no i found it oh, in the, in, we've looked at it already yeah yeah okay well yeah. they've looked at it there's a table in there that has all you know what you call the matrix is right in there 
Okay, so is that the so, one you're and, and they go in chapters. So you can look up what you want to look up, and then you can look in under the chapter. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I know a lot of things have thickness to them. I mean, the Bible is very thick, and the pages are very thin, and the print's really small, but people seem to get through it. Um, the Avatar book, you have to find what you're looking for. I, I'm not sure what it is that you're looking for, but yeah, that's basically what it is. So it's the big form. And, and it's the RSAs. We have a whole series filled with laws. State of New Hampshire laws. It's the same deal. You have to you have to look for it. So it's not on one sheet, but you know that's that's how you research something. Okay. Yeah. So I think we've done that, and we're still like the site modifier thing that seems to be the big controversy is fair, good, natural, average. There are some definitions in here for what those different site modifiers mean. Let me back up a second. The reason I am asking you guys this is if I have you guys come out and you don't know what you're looking for, then what's the point of having you guys come out, right? So that's, this is, we, that's why we want to come out with the Avatar rep, because they know what they're looking for. And we're out there to make sure that the... Um, that both sides are treated. both sides are treated with dignity and respect. We're just there to, to, to be there with them. To, we, our goal is to have a fair assessment of the value of everybody's land. And Good. that's all we're trying to do. Good. And everybody in town, except for very few, allow the assessor to come on their property. I mean, I, I, you, you've heard the opinion of my house. They don't like it. But that's... That's just the way it is. That's the only way that we can attempt to be fair. If we have to look at everybody's property from the roadside, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. Um, you know, and I don't like property tax either. I think property tax means that, personally speaking, that you never really own your property. If you can't pay your taxes, they come and take your property. I think that's outrageous. But that's the system that we're living under right now. And there's there's little as a board of selectmen that we can do about it, except try to be fair and equal with everybody that we're dealing with. And I think that's what we're trying to do here. So I agree with everything you said. I'm not trying to get out of paying taxes. In fact, we paid them all. So um, I don't know Thank you very much for that. We appreciate that. Yeah, I don't, I don't see what the implication is, and I'm not trying to be like ideological or whatever, but look, when it says good, average, fair, and then what I think they rated ours at is good, and they talk about a lawn area, desirable, desirable ornamental features such as trees, shrubbery, garden flower beds, minor amounts of stone walls, walkways. Like, is that really what we're talking about here? Because I don't think we have that. And if we have you guys come out and then you agree that those words don't apply, then it seems like we should be able to get it classified correctly. Do, I mean, is, um, am I crazy in my thinking here? I think if we had a personal visit, from yeah. the, the from the representative avatar, we would have a fair, and I, I I'm very trustworthy, and I think that uh, you would agree with what he came up with at that time, as far as good, bad, you know, undeveloped, whatever whatever the category is. Everybody would be present for that conversation, so we'd all be on the same page. page. Right. Okay, so you know, you seem to bristle a little bit, Steve, at the. Uh, us saying that there's retribution, uh, those are our words. The fact is that the land wasn't any more or less developed until we pointed out that they lied, misconstrued, estimated, horribly wrong. Time out, I don't know what the lie is. I know that you came into the selectman's meeting and accused Avatar of lying, but for, for meetings you came in and said, we don't need a building notification because we're not building a home, we're building a workshop. The workshop turned out to be the home. Where's the building notification? One never existed. So it's a two-way street and we both have to be upfront with each other. And, the, and once again, the only way that we can resolve this is with a personal visit. I mean, all these other questions that you have, they're all good questions. Are we going to be able to sit here and answer them? If, you know, if that's... That, if that's what you're trying to do, well, we won't be able to, but we'll do our best. But if we had a representative with us, then I think we can answer your questions when we are doing the personal visit on your property.
it can just continue. Sure. Like, yeah. So um, when when they mismeasured <laughs> whatever words we need to use, they got all the measurements wrong. Okay, like it was the same amount or not amount of develop. And then when we say when we prove that those measurements are wrong, then they reclassify the property as good instead of undeveloped. Doesn't make sense to me. Like I, I don't think there's like at the minimum they keep making mistakes upon mistakes upon mistakes. Okay. I, I, I haven't seen the mistake, so okay. The mistake was they reclassified the land even though we were only saying that the buildings were incorrect. So they, why did they reclassify the land when the buildings they, the built the plans were reclassified. I don't know what you're you mean. They reclassified it as forty from forty seven to uh, yes. hundred and five after yeah. you complained. I, I don't think so. I mean, we have. What do you have? I've got the old property cards too. And is this the form we should really? Yeah, we, I, I'm no, fine to meet with no. anybody to discuss this. It's, it's just, just public comment time, so we're. Okay. The cemetery um, cleanup is happening on April 28th at 10 a.m. We're going to meet out in front of the um, town offices here. So if anybody wants to come to that and help clean up some of the winter damage, that would be appreciated. Are you guys going to try to get a whole cemetery or just certain ones? I don't think I, Ed, if you have a more clear plan than I do, I think it'd show up and try to figure it out as we go. We're going to try to get them all. Yeah. Uh, we do have that. Uh, one woman that uh, we hired uh, the other night that uh, is very into uh, continuing to keep the upkeep. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I may have another mower for you guys. Uh, Jason Joyce asked about going to cemeteries. I, I hey, spoke. He, well, right. I spoke to him before and told him to come on down yeah. and fill out an application. I see him, you know, I'll try to send him down and get an application put in. I know he's looking for work. Yeah, because I, I told him that before. Uh, he was more than willing to do it for 13. He was even more willing when I told him that he got rid of 15. Yeah. yeah. Let me give you another, yeah. at least another mower. Well, you have an application in your box. Okay. So the one from, the one that you hired? Yeah. Or Selectman cannot do anything about the post office. It is a federal government building. We have no control over their workers. Them get mailed to you. So you can. Only thing I can tell you to do is email Jean, uh, Maggie Hassan. Can look up her email. I think it's just Maggie Hassan. Something something. You can email any customer too. Yeah. But you have to know your zip plus four, or they won't accept your email. So, yeah, email the uh, New Hampshire government. Pretty much all I think I can tell you. All right. We cannot go in and fire the drivers, which they have not. Right. And we're lucky if they get one for a day. They've had one for like a week now. Right. From Nashua. They have a replacement coming in for a couple of days and then she's out. Yeah. Well, they made it to my mailbox. I saw them today. So they so lucky. I'm lucky. They made it to mine. It's not like a freaking race car. <laughs> Jesus. Is that the Penske going? No, it's actually. No, the Penske is up. It's a mess. I know. She drives like a bat out of hell. No, this was the mail van. Oh, today? Yeah. 
Male, male, woman. <laughs> van, I said. Oh, van. Not okay. Man. Okay. It's, a, it's a male van with a woman driving. Yeah, she didn't get out of the post office till after 11.30 with the mail. Wasn't the defendant? She was hollering. And have you seen the Penske truck? Oh, yes. Whoa. Oh, you should see how fast she backed up. It's scary. That's fine, like the last bit of car is probably in the woods. <laughs> you got a lot of comments? I'm all set. Motions are adjourned. Second. Okay. <laughs>